Hey there, this is Chris Adamo from Balloons Online, Sydney, Australia. I just thought I'd show another little quick video of the Balloons Online design tool. This is version 2.0, I guess you could call it. We're already starting on version 3, which will include um, the grid system and a bunch of other cool stuff. But we can save it and we can do some more stuff. So I thought I'd, I'd show you a video. Uh, we're just on the homepage balloons.com.au forward slash tools. It's got some examples of uh, what we made before. Um, so once again, to click uh, to start, just click here on the home page. Uh, first thing it opens up is the duplet square pack, which is new. Um, to start on that, you simply can add a color or um, just by clicking in one of the cells, it'll prompt you to add a color as well. So if we were to, uh, just an example, the purpose of this video is just to really quickly show you all of the functions that it can do. And uh, within the program itself, you can find a couple more videos on how to do stuff. So we can add rows, um, you know, add columns, whatever it may be. Okay, so what, what's really cool about the duplet square pack uh, is you can click this little button over here and you can explode it and it explodes into columns. So if I were to go to the tidy up button and uh, explode it, it actually has like a production schedule um, for the columns. So you can then print that. Um, if you can see, and it, it'll print it with a number as a guide for the, uh, the balloon color. Uh, if I were to add more rows and columns so we can see it a little bit better, you can hide the guides as well. Um, but you can also see the, the count. So as I'm adding balloons, it's adding by the number of two because you got one behind it. So this is quite an accurate count of uh, whatever the design is that, you, that you're making. So let's just sort of fill in, you know, if we're going to make a wall with that. So in version three, <laughs> we plan on being able to select uh, an entire uh, section of, of cells or, or balloons and, and then color it as a whole. So one thing to keep in mind, you can also replace a color. So this one here, if I want to replace that with Wildberry. Um, so we, um, you know, make sure you save your designs because you can open it up later and customize it to whatever the client's new um, spec specifications are. So in this case, uh, let, let me show you quickly the, the save functionality. So just file save, you choose you know, what you want to call it. Off you go. I'll give you an example of loading a, a file um, that I previously saved. Uh, where is it? Design tool. So here's one here. This is a job I, I'm working on now. It will eventually spell smile. So this is a six inch grid um, calculator. So the six inch actually, while we're here, we'll talk about it. it um, it's d designed with the five inch on the junctions, which are these, the six inch, which is the sections in between the grid. Uh, and you can, you can, of course, add a five inch on the inside. So you can see how the count is working here. It's telling us um, this count is based on a three-dimensional six-inch structure. So there's a layer behind it, a layer in front of it, and all the connectors. Now it's averaging the quantity. So bear, bear in mind it's averaging the quantity, but it's also adding um, two five-inch for every junction. So that's quite cool. Let's have a little look at the other thing that we've built is the alternate um, size pack. So just to... Create a quick sample. I don't even know what we're making yet, but let's just do something. So it is a bit time consuming. You know, I'm trying to add like an auto fill so you can pre color absolutely everything. All right, what else can we do here? Maybe the number one. Looks like it's coming out as one. Add some more rows. So what I like about it is you can kind of see, well, what's the best way to make a number one in this case? Does it need to be thicker, thinner?
Anyway, you can get the point, right? And you can, uh, once again, remove the guides. You can print it. You can save it also as a... Uh, as a uh, PNG and an SVG file, there's just, just different types of graphical files. Um, the version 3 won't have JPEG as well. But the good thing about a PNG is it has um, the white space is negative, so you can overlay it over another image and uh, it's transparent. So that's the PNG file, I'll just open it up. Cool. All right. There you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. Bye.